shed here. Hey guys, we're Evan and Kaylin, and today we are in our side yard because we have a lot of room here that we're not using, but we're running out of space in here. So today we're gonna turn this space into a shed. This is how big it's gonna be, I think. <laughs> yeah, like this, combine this. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully you guys saw the paver base video we released a few weeks ago, and ever since then we've been patiently waiting for our shed to be delivered. Alright guys, the shed is finally here. Can't wait to show it to you. And neither can Caitlin. Can you see me? Yes! Oh my gosh! There's like, black stuff on your nose! And oh no. on your face! Oh, this is a dirty box! <laughs> it's a dirty box! <laughs> so it's a cedar shed that comes partially assembled, but we're going to add some solar lights on the outside, solar lights on the inside. We're going to paint the door. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. Oh. We considered building a shed from scratch, but because of all the various materials we would need to buy, it seemed really inefficient. It's hard to buy like just a few roofing panels and things like that. Plus time. This made more sense with time. Do you need help? Ah! So before we start assembling everything, we're going to paint some stuff so that it is ready to go by the time we get to that step. So one is we're going to paint the doors and we're using the same navy that we use in all of our projects. <laughs> our pantry door and our laundry room. Because and we have it and we're lazy. And we like the color. And then we're also painting this downspout extension because the number one comment on our last video is how we're going to flood everything and destroy our foundation. Ooh, so fancy. It's getting, it's getting pretty cold, guys, but before we wrap up for the night, the painting is looking good. It's time to add studs to these walls to make them stronger, and then these should be good to go to assemble to be all the sides of our shed. I feel like most of our shed has been in the dark. Yeah, so the, our shed build. yeah there, there's a lot of the pavers, a lot of the shed. It got dark, it got cold. It's time to call it and see you tomorrow. All right guys, today is when it starts to get real. We're actually gonna start assembling the wooden pieces. It'll start looking like a shed. Yeah. So first up, we need to put the bottom piece onto our paver patio and we will find out if it is level enough. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. We might actually have to do a little bit of shimming. We have a couple tiles in the front that are like a little bit higher than the others. We're like, what the heck? We leveled the crap out of this. Yeah. I think it's good. Well, we gotta put a level on it. Hey! hey! Wow, ah. I thought it wasn't. All right, first step, take off more clothes. Wow, wow, wow. Place this right here. Let me get a hammer so I can. Your t-shirt's on inside out. No, it isn't. You see your tag. Oh no. Now is the time to apply caulk. Okay. Yeah, this step is optional, but we might as well uh, yeah, build I it mean. the best we can. Watch your butt. Oh. It'd be hard to do this with one person. Before attaching the last piece, you're supposed to make sure that with all this in place, this opening is 41 inches for the door. So let's see if we did it. Ah. 41 on the dot. First try. Dang it, it's looking good. Yeah. Looking like a shit.
So now we are doing the shelves. Let's do both to. shelves on one side, I think. Yeah, that way we can do tall items on one side. Yeah. <laughs> Adding shelves. Adding shelves. Time to install the roof. We need to get shingle nails. Shingle nails, shingle, shingle nails. nails. Shingle all your nails. With two nails. Nail eight inches from your butt. This is the first time I've ever done shingles. <laughs> Let's learn together. <laughs> we might need to put it on the ground. Maybe we're supposed to put it on the ground. Like it says in the instructions. Should we just glue it back together? <laughs> Let's just glue it back together. That was our fault. That side. We should have followed instructions. I wonder if I can just like super glue it back together. I would wood glue it. But would you? Leaving. You know, I thought that things were just going too smoothly. We need to add some drama to this we video. Need I'm not saying that is what happened. I'm just asking what if that is what happened? <laughs> I don't know if that was a like, nice wink or a weird wink. It was weird. Was uh, that weirder? That was weirder. Oh. These shingles have been the unexpected bane of our existence. Not because they're like that particularly difficult. We just keep doing it without reading the directions. Or just the using tools in a sleep deprived state. Yeah, Evan didn't sleep last night. We get a wide shot of us like putting it on top. Don't listen to me now. You ready? Yeah. Ah! Oh! It's looking like a shit. It's looking like a shit. We come bearing doors. Oh, we're done? We can stop here? Yeah. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Time to atta attach the hardware. So we thought that we had the doors. Whoa. Oopie. We thought we had the doors all ready to install, but then we found out that there's a centerpiece that goes down the middle. Is that nice looking or bad looking? That looks bad. We have to paint that. Okay, so we don't want to wait for this to dry, so we'll set it aside, keep moving, and then we'll paint this later tonight and then reattach it. But don't let me forget. Are you talking to me or the audience? Both of you. Leave a comment! <laughs> Tell me not to forget this later! I have a shim holding it on one end. Oh yeah, it looks nice. Look at this. Alrighty, it's the next day, and we haven't forgotten about you little piece that needs to go in the middle of our doors. So we want to screw from the back side of the door so that the screws aren't visible. So I'm just going to go in here. Close me in. Goodbye. Oh, you've got to wait. No, I'm not ready yet. Go back in. All right, I'm going to screw right in the center. Good thing the screwdriver has a light on it. Yay. This one's right at 14. Yep. Oh, jeez, oh, what happened? <laughs> Was I there... got freaked out. I thought it was a bug, but I think it was just the keychain. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Okay. We just have lights and gutter left, right? Yeah, I think this might have been the most common concern from the last one, flooding our little paver base. So we're just gonna bypass the whole thing. It seemed easier than turning it. Should we just extend it all the way to the curb? <laughs> yes. So we're doing inside lights and outside lights and they're all solar. Originally, we were just gonna do outside just to look nice, but it makes a lot of sense to do inside ones. So it's yeah, not what if, black when you go in there. What if we need something from our shed and it's the middle of the night? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It probably will happen. Boop. Let's do it. So it looks really nice right here, but right behind this is nothing. <laughs> so we're gonna add some two by fours to the back right there and then screw into that. Cute! 
we're also gonna install some lights on the inside so that when we come for tools in the dark, we can see what we're grabbing. You don't wanna grab that bug. That's just like... <laughs> You're gonna say butt. <laughs> That's where we store our extra butts, by the way. <laughs> we weren't gonna tell you guys, but Caitlin shed. gave it away. So we're gonna install this guy back here and we're gonna wire these up on the inside. That is nice. As we were starting to put stuff up, we just realized that pegboards would work really well on the inside of the door, so we're gonna try that. Alrighty guys, time for a shed tour. We added some pegboard right here, which we really like. We'll probably add more over here. We have our little lights. This little shed has freed up more than 10 feet of wall space that's really valuable to us. And it has even more room to go. So spacious. We done. So I wanted to share some lessons learned. One, I'm really glad that we went with the prefabricated shed, partially oh, prefabricated. I just don't think I would have thought of everything that went into this, like all of the trim pieces, how the roof how to went properly together. properly shingle a roof. Yeah. yeah. I, and I think that we learned a lot through assembling it. I feel like if I had to build a shed now from scratch, yeah. I built a much better shed. I'm also glad that we went with a small shed and I know a lot of people <laughs> are saying that this shed is too tiny. We don't want to accumulate a bunch of stuff. We wanted something just big enough to fit the things that we need but don't need on hand all the time. So I think it's yeah. perfect for us. But I'm also really glad we went with like a real wood shed instead of a plastic one. And that, you know, plastic ones might be perfect, but I liked that we were able to add two by fours in between the, mm -hmm. the braces and we were and able add to lights. add lights and kind of know how that works because we're comfortable with wood and I felt comfortable modifying this and we may modify this again in the future. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys like this video and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hopefully you've seen our video about how we built this base paver thing. I don't, do I don't, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Cut. Mm, cut that. Hey guys, I don't know, I, I'm suddenly waving now. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> Come in. Come into our abode. Oh. Nope, never mind. Hey. <laughs> do, 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 do. That part right there, that's the hard part. <laughs>